we give the name first First, we're going to design 14 megahertz inverted V. The center frequency is 14.175 megahertz, and we we are going to draw the wire. at the XZ axis for example our tower height is about 8 meters uh, each pole at 14 megahertz band is around 5 meters long the length is 8 meters here so we have to reduce Seven, six, five. The pole, the other pole, also five meters, around five meters. New wire. Stretch from the fit point here. Line of our five point zero. Okay, click OK, and we are going to accurate at the geometry here including the radius radius is half of diameter i use a 0 0.45 millimeter radius the diameter is uh, 0 0.9 millimeter 0 0.45 and we try to set the ground setup here the antenna is not at free space it's not perfect height but it is above real ground so we have to set up or simulate the ground here assume this antenna is going to be put at suburb and industrial area the value is uh, for the electric is 5 and for conductivity is 1 you could see these values on the menu on the manual I mean click OK and the height is 8 meters and material is copper wire or cuprum wire uh, 
okay and to test the initial SWR we have to put pulse here W1B stands for wire pulse mm, pulse put at uh, the wire 1 at the beginning you could see how to set this value at the manual enter now uh, initial SWR mm, SWR is 2.03 ideal SWR is 1.0 so we could we could use uh, optimization menu here we are going to optimize gain and optimize SWR to all elements mm, only at x axis so this is this has to be unchecked here click OK start the optimization no so start again the simulation for optimized design SWR is 1.21 match enough with the RG58 coaxial cable or RG8 <coughs> But uh, our destination is to design a single fat double inverted phase for different bands. So we draw again. Right now I at the different axis perpendicular to this x-axis which is y-axis okay this is the top of the tower and right now we are going to design inverted V for 21 megahertz or 15 meters band its pole is about 3.75 meters new wire wire number 3 as you could see at the right length should be 3.75 angle around 45 degrees okay and the other pole of this uh, 21 megahertz inverted fee new wire wire number four with the same length also 3.5 3.75 meters length 3 points you could see the at the right side the ruler 3.7475 good enough okay click OK now we have to change the input frequency which is the center frequency of 21 megahertz pen which is 21.225 megahertz and we try to start the initial SWR SWR quite high here 
66.59 we are going to optimize mm, optimize the gain and optimize the SWR to all elements we have to accurate what el which element at the y, y axis so we have to uncheck this uh, set axis and x axis only y axis click ok so uh, only optimize on y axis y start start the optimized simulation SWR still quite high 36.15 and you could see here the exact impedance is uh, 55.36 ohm plus J307.53 ohms uh, the proper impedance should be 50 plus J0 here so this is near the resistance part but the reactance is uh, still plus so many means uh, this antenna is too long we are going to uh, edit the wire okay we are going to shorter the each pole for 21 megahertz part the length is uh, 0.5 meters only and also the other pole Okay, the center frequency should be 21.225 megahertz. Start again the simulation. Okay, this is much more lower, only 13.48. Mm, the resistance is 75.19 and the reactance is uh, to 0 0.86 let's try the optimization menu we're going to improve the gain at, at the same time we try to optimize the SWR to y-axis only so the uh, z-axis should be unchecked and also x axis let's start the optimization mm. okay and this is uh, the optimized SWR is uh, 1.69 if we see the general view you could see here um, Two inverted fees, longer one for 14 megahertz and a shorter one for 21 megahertz. 
Mm, I'm going to explain why one coaxial cable could fit uh, two inverted fish at the same time. For example, uh, the first antenna to analyze is uh, longer 14 megahertz inverted V and it is uh, fed with uh, 21 megahertz carrier so at the fit point here the impedance of uh, 14 megahertz inverted V should be very very high while the impedance for 21 megahertz inverted V is uh, very near to 50 ohm so the total parallel impedance here is near to 50 ohm so the uh, 21 megahertz carrier here would only uh, dissipated at the 21 megahertz inverted fee but not at the 14 megahertz inverted fee and vice, ver vice versa uh, first for the 14 megahertz inverted fee let's see the SWR still low let's let's see the plot okay the pattern of uh, um, of uh, inverted V is om omnidirectional let's see the SWR pattern okay at the center frequency is only about 1.3 uh, here let's see for 21 megahertz point two to five SWR 1.69 and the plot is also the inverted fee for 21 megahertz almost omnidirectional this is not perfect but good enough good omnidirectional enough and the uh, SWR pattern Mm, this is uh, 1.69 at the center frequency.